alternation of generation in angiosperms. We will understand in detail about the sporophytic and the gametophytic stages of the angiospermic life cycle. In flowering plants, the flowers represent the sporophyte. The male reproductive structures of a flower consist of stalk-like filaments with pollen-bearing anthers at the anterior end. The anthers produce microspores or pollen grains. It is inside the pollen grain that the haploid male gametophyte develops. The pollen grains after dispersal from the anthers are carried to the stigma of the gynoecium. Once the pollen grains are deposited on the stigma, they start growing tubes called pollen tubes. The innermost whorl of the flower is the gynoecium, which is the female reproductive structure called ovary consisting of ovules. One pollen tube grows right through the style and reaches the ovary which contains structures that produce the female gamete. This is found inside the ovary through a narrow opening in the ovule called a micropyle. The pollen tube enters the ovule. Once inside the ovule, the pollen tube releases the male gamete where they fertilize the egg and the polar nuclei. Later, the fertilized egg develops into a seed inside the ovary. This seed protects the developing embryo, which grows into a sporophyte. This diploid sporophytic phase is the dominant photosynthetic phase and the independent phase of the plant. Summary in flowering plants, the flowers represent the sporophyte. In this life cycle, the sporophyte, which is the flowering plant, bears the stamen and the pistil. These contain pollen and ovule, which are gametophytes. They combine together during fertilization and form the seed which develops into seedling and this seedling grows into a flowering plant this kind of life cycle is termed as diplontic life cycle